TV, a broader perspective. Public affairs segment, giving the masses a grasp of informative, educative and entertaining updates on current issues while guiding them to follow the latest development in the society. Lean TV, a broader perspective. It's one year already into this administration, both individual and in the, in the state level. And um, there's been a lot of review about how much this administration has given to the citizens that voted them into power. Last year, we were celebrating that uh, the former president gave a Kwaibom state the license to distribute power. So those are the talking points that we are going to focus on today and see how that has been utilized and what is the status of the Bomba under Omoyno's administration. So stay with us. When I'm back, we're going to bring up the managing director of the Bomba company. Others programs to tell us about more and that we need to know about the power sector. My name is Blessing Ambrose and I welcome you to Public Affairs, a segment of this program. A broader perspective. So welcome back from the short break. Um, like we told you that we are analyzing this administration. What has it done to improve the power sector? What is his own contribution in the last one year of this administration? So we have the managing director of Gwon Power Company, engineer Mayen Etugudo, who is going to tell us a lot that we need to know about this topic. You're welcome, sir, to the program. Thank you. Beam TV. How is Ipon Power? Ipon Power is as fit as Fidel and is doing well. Okay. I want to commend you that you have always and always been um, as a public officer. You've always been on the forefront to tell the public, carry the public along in the activities and affairs of the public of Ipon Power sector. So kudos to you and well done. Thank you. My business is the top power. <laughs> and you're yes. talking it. Yes. Okay. So how has um, Ibom Power fared in this Moino's administration? Well, from where he inherited, uh, the governor, Pastor Moino, paid a visit to Ibom Power Company on Monday, the 3rd of July, 2023, yeah. nearly after he assumed office on May 29 last year. And he moved around, saw things for himself, even though I was not in the plants that very day. He asked questions and told the board and management staff that were present some steps he would like to take and what to do to operate optimally. Because the power is not operating optimally in the sense that three units were installed, you know? Totally 191 megawatt of installed capacity. But an installation, 2009 December, one unit started to run. That was called GT1. So, and the bomb power is made up of three units. That is three turbines, as we can say. Okay. Turbine number one, which is called GT1, that is gas turbine one is of 38 megawatt of power. If you use that one alone, that is your supply power equivalent to 38 megawatt. It's a big power. If you add unit 2, another 38, that makes it 76 megawatt of power. Very big power that can get across this state. Then, if you add GT3, that is gas turbine 3, that one is frame 9E and is 115 megawatt on its own. So if you add 115 to 76, you get 191 megawatt. A lot of power for the entire of a quiet bomb and still remain. So, um, but in 2012, GT1 crash before this, you know, management and uh, board came into power in 2016 and 17. So that has crashed. 
and went out of operation. In July 2020, July 2010, GT3 was commissioned. That is the one with 115 megawatt. In fact, that is the unit we met running. GT2 has never been started, has never been tested nor commissioned before we came on board. It was we that brought in a company, Danmark Engineering, worked with the company to bring up GT2 ever. Because we were told it was given to a company called Group 5 from South Africa. Their business was not to install a turbine. Their business was to build a transmission line from Ikarabasi to Ikep then. So the job was never tested nor commissioned. But we brought that into generation by September, October 2022. So that was a plus for this management. And, but now GT3 was running. But there was what they supposed to do. That is um, hot gas part inspection. That is a maintenance called hot gas part inspection. All the parts that has to do with, you know, uh, gas and when you talk of gas we are talking of heating the elements and so on but it wasn't done it was supposed to be done at 23,000 hours because everything in power station we calculate the number of hours it has run so we was supposed to do it at 23,000 hours but it wasn't done so when we took over I mean this administration and the board we did it at 32,000 hours. You can imagine from 23 to 32,000. Because I assume office when it was 26,000 hours. But there was no money immediately to do that. We have to go and source for the money. Also mentioned that he's going to train indigents of Ibom Akwaibom to manage the plant. How far had the uh, company proceeded in that? The governor mentioned that six people should be trained, then they will produce operation and maintenance manager. Okay. Two women and six men, that is six staff of senior staff cadre and middle management whosoever emerges the best. So that has been started. In fact, over 12 people were selected by board and management. The intention was as they go, they will be passing through, you know, examinations and all that, screening, till we get to six. When we get to six, you know, we will get to three, the inner calculus. Then these three. Is it in phases? Yeah, we will do in phases. You know, even when Jesus started, he started with 500 in the church. <laughs> then he got to 70 that he sent out. 70 returned to give report. And then he chose 12 disciples. Then from 12 disciples, he got the three inner. Okay. Kakus. And from three, he had one, John the Beloved. So that will be the operation and maintenance manager. So in that phase, since we are all Christians, we follow that step. So when we get to the six, then we will get to three. Maybe those ones can be flown abroad or trained in a GE, you know, infrastructure. Because if you send people to GE school, another Cromptoville in US, or Belfast where they produce the machines and this, even for six months or three months, the cause will merely swallow the burn power itself. So, when we get to the three, we know how long to send them. Because we know even in Nepal, we had Nepal training school at Kanji, where people like us, 1986, 87, 88, went there, we would stay there in Nepal training school, 
got some training like C1, M1 and all those things and go back. Sometimes go to Jora, sometimes go to Jaws and all other training school. And uh, before we were sent abroad and so on, nice to do some things like when you are going there, they know the money to pay because person like me, I was in India for about eight times. Some training school and this. China about six times, Bahrain two times, Ukraine two times, Paris was there one time, Switzerland and all others, US and, uh, and uh, UK. Okay. So that costs money, real money. So how long Not is after the training going to last? The training, training, first, the training will last for six months. Okay. After the six months, we will produce like the six we are talking about which will be screened to the three, the inner carcass we told you. At that point, from that six months between 12 months, we would have sent them to other centers abroad. During this training, people will visit like other Tamar power stations like Egbe. You know, as of now, Egbe is the biggest uh, Tamar plant in the country. That is six unit, 200 megawatt each times six that's 1320 megawatts okay. that's what it is so they will go to a corridor there like transcorp go to ugeli i mean uh sapele a farm visit some other places papalanto and omotosho to see what is going on and now operation managers are operating there so it's real intensive training they will be trained on administration and uh, commercial and uh, some other areas, finance, because operation maintenance manager is supposed to be versatile. Mm -hmm. It's not only talking to the machines, that is the turbines. We know what is going on around HR and so on. Okay. So. Okay. All right. So it was widely reported in some national dailies that for more than a week, all the power used in Aquarium State was supplied from a home power due to a grid collapse. How, how, how was the company able to achieve that? Because even from your opening statement, you've been saying that um, you generate so much that you cannot uh, send out, and this time around, you have to be the one to supply. <laughs> yeah, people talk things if they don't even know. Uh, but they mentioned something, that is power. Even power was generating. In fact, the best this year I got was the email from uh, Washington, D.C. in the U.S. When a company, I don't want to mention them, asked me that uh, there was grid collapse, even two times, early this year and so on. And it was reported that the bomb power was still generating. It was an island, yeah. what we call island. I said, yes, that we had to cut off, open our breakers and isolators at E2. When we open our isolators and breakers at E2, we are not on grid any longer. So the power we generate circulates around a quiet boom state. So when we put our units on grid, like the G23, that is a gas turbine 3, which is 115 megawatts, a show boom and said we shouldn't go above 80 megawatts, 70 or 90. So we can't even generate. 90 on island that we didn't acquire them because PHDC will not pick that power. So when we are even on island, we go about 60 to 70. If they will even take that 70, I doubt. So we can do that within acquire bombs that we can generate and run on island. Okay, that, that takes us back to the previous administration. Um, during the previous administration, the license was given to acquire from states to be able to distribute power. Yeah. That's been utilized. How has that? That was not the only license we got. In 2015 October, 2015 October, we also got an upgraded license from 191 megawatt to generate to 685 megawatt. Okay. So acquire from said as it is, as it is right now, we can upgrade our power plants. The present one, Obule Greenfield, that is a new one of 500 megawatt. That was thrown to investors from all over the world. And a company called American 
American something company came up, signed an agreement with the then government to come up with 733 megawatts, starting with 133. They signed MOU. But since then, we have not seen them again. Till God knows time when they will come back. And coming to the distribution aspect, since the government of Aquaibom State was not satisfied with the performance of PHEDC, that is a disco, they went forward to press to get their distribution company. And by so doing, we got a boom utility company approved by NEC that the bomb power which is 685 megawatts you know install capacity we should sit 10 megawatt to that company to be 675 and in the real sense since we are 191 install capacity phase one if we sit 10 megawatt we will become 181 I mean megawatt but the company for you to establish such company now great that company you have to satisfy all conditions of NEC that is uh, legislation if you go to a one platform there's one platform called the installation managed by the uh, commissioner for power and the PEMSEC power they have written a lot of document things even somebody in the state house of assembly raised a motion, you know, debut, debated, I think it became a bill. I don't know whether it has passed the first reading and second reading because the bomb power is not Minister of Power. Bomb power is a company on its own running business of generation. So, really, I don't know where they are right now. If they are somewhere because we were not even invited to the state house of assembly to make our contribution you no know, to any town hall meeting that is to make our own contribution so until they invite you everybody messy that is nigeria electricity supply industry has its job to do that is division of labor we get our feedstock which is gas from agro gas we turn gas to power in even power then we allow the company called tcl transisco to wield the power to various load centers then distribution will take power and distribute NEC, embed nemsa and the rest are regulators i mean embed nigerian bulk electricity trailer trader you know is the off taker that takes the power then sell and pay money to these uh, people so we don't double into other people's field or areas said a lot. Um, let's look at Lekot's agenda of Governor Moeno for Ibom Power. Well, Ibom Power is not really on his own as such. Ibom Power reports to Akikop, okay. Akwa Ibom State Investment Corporation. Corporation. They started by signing MOU with Savannah Energy last year. That is to come in as technical partner to you know uh, bomb power to you know generate more power or be upgraded so um yesterday uh day before yesterday you must have watched and saw on television how geregu geregu is in ajakuta is the power station we build in ajakuta for about 200 and something megawatts during NIPP. They have signed partnership with Siemens. You know when you hear company like Siemens, ABB, GE, Alstom and so on in power. 
you can go home to sleep that is and forget about everything because Siemens is manufacturing some some uh, turbines now one turbine can produce 1000 something megawatts of power GE has come up with frame 9 H frame 9 H is frame 9 H can produce power worth 275 megawatt with one unit that is covered the whole of the even power it can produce power up to 1000 that is they have gone to frame 9 F that is GE these are the companies that when you talk of power they are power itself they read the turbines they even manufacturing some engines some engines of the boom a is manufactured by ge okay. and so on so definitely they said they have signed we witnessed the signing of partnership with savannah energy savannah energy is the one giving us gas so we are waiting for everything to be true in few sentences let me know what is the power set to achieve this year for the company Ibom power is set to make the company run that is optimally we can run uh, gt3 which is 115 megawatt but we still need some maintenances like changing of inlet air filters when I say maintenance in power plant like in the filters, we are talking of over 470 something million naira with the lowest paid tariff in the whole lazy. So the government needs to come in, invest seriously because government has 100% shares of Ibom power, except they want to divest the share and bring in others to raise money in the capital market to finance Ibom power that is to go optimally the day Ibom power will run the three units at 191 megawatt and into Doaba transmission line is reconducted that if PHDC cannot pick power we sell this power by going on grid you will see Ibom power will start making money then the whole world will see after Ibom power still remain one of the best power station if we were awarded that you know uh, award by the whole of africa as the best african generating power services company we went to dubai 2017 the only power plant in nigeria out of the 29 though 26 is active to present paper on all GE from 9E users conference the whole of Africa and Middle East we have gone ahead uh, Ibom power is the best in HAC Ibom power is rated as the cleanest the best and all other things so Ibom power has done much they have supported the government in the past when they could make that money Ibom power employs 200 and something staff let any company in Aquaibom show us that they have employed 150 staff Ibom power is into CSR we've given some money to the communities we've printed notebooks to secondary schools and a lot of things to be done the people in Ibom power are professionals and they can remain the best professionals I myself am a fellow of six engineering bodies in the power industry all over the country. I don't mean the world. So if they produce their workforce, we have the best workforce. Is it commercial? Is it finance? Chartered accountants of many years. We have even up to three chartered accountants inside the head and so on. And mean what can we mention pure professionals our certificates have been tested by NEC not within even the state NEC has our certificates so there is no place that can beat Ibom power it properly position the company is funded and that is to make reform to the state 
at the end of the day. Okay. Thank you so much, Engineer Mengene Tobodo, for making that time to be with us and also to share the ideas on what is going on in the Bumpa Company. We appreciate it. And uh, we believe, you know, they say um, to whom much is given, much is expected. And the reward of good work is what? More work. So you've been given this mandate. You're here. All that the Kwaibomite, the government and Nigerians wants to see is improved uh, power situation in a Kwaibom state. As Ibompa have been in the forefront of being the best power company in Nigeria, we expect so much from the company in uh, years to come, starting from this year. So we wish you more grace for greater exploits. Thank you. And this is how far we can go on the segment. This blessing, Ambrose, and it's always a delight to be with you. Watch Beam TV programs on the following channels YouTube, Beam TV Nigeria, Facebook, Beam TV for advert placement, documentary, event coverage and airing, and special interview. Call 0816 567 1899 or 0808 856 8753. Beam TV, a broader perspective.